Okay, let's look at Minecraft. This is a backup uh, tutorial, just in case this new and featured button doesn't work for you guys, okay? Um, so I'm gonna hit play here and just create a new world. Start a new world. Just hit play. Um, by the way, you wanna make sure, if, if we scroll down here, you wanna make sure that cheats are on. So scroll down to cheats and make sure activate cheats is on. This means it's on right now. That would be off, this is on, okay? All right. And what we are going to do is we are going to code inside of Minecraft. So looking at the left side of the screen, this tells me all my controls. Moving is done with W, A, S, and D, which is basically like your arrow keys, except it's by your left hand. Space is jump. If we double click space, we can start flying. Double tap space again, we'll stop flying. Um, and let's hit C and we will open up the code builder. And when we open the code builder, we'll have three options here. Uh, you want the first option, especially for right now, Microsoft Make Code. We're going to be using Microsoft Make Code for a couple different apps doing a bunch of different stuff. Um, so choose this one. And then we want a new project. And by the way, we will be doing some of these tutorials, and you can do them on your own. Um, so I'll be allowing you guys to do some of these tutorials on your own. But for right now, we're going to make our own superpower. This is cool how they separate them, though. Get the agent to do things for you. Make your own superpowers. That one's really easy. It just, when you walk, it puts things below your feet. Um, these are cool. They have to do with mobs. Um, and we'll even do some mini games, okay? Uh, mini games are a lot of fun. So you can even make mini games with code. But for right now, we're hitting new project and you're just following along with me. I'm going to call this Super Mine. Super Mine. Hit create. And here we are. These right here, these alligator looking blocks, these are called event blocks. And so they're just different ways to trigger the code that we want to run. On start means whenever I hit this start button. So every time I want the code to run, if I do it that way, I would have to hit C to open this up, and then I would have to hit the play button, and everything in there would run. Instead, I think I'll use a chat command. So let's make a chat command, and we'll just call it mine. Okay, so you just replace the word run that was right here with the word mine. There we go. And now we want to start controlling blocks. We're What we're going to do, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have it so that wherever you're standing, it's going to empty a big square um, and get rid of all the grass. It's going to get rid of all the dirt and all the sand um, and just leave us with the stone, okay? And then if you want, you could even have it get rid of all the stone. And you can also do things like have... Um, anything with gems in it pop so that the gems are still lying there at the bottom of your mind and you mine and you can just go collect it all But for now, let me just show you how to get started on this So I'm hitting C going back in here and then inside of this we want to add uh, a block that's in here. So if we go into blocks And we scroll a little over halfway down we find this block replace with whatever when the block is whatever and then these are coordinates, and we'll talk about what those are in a second. But let's just grab this, grab this, pull it out, and put it inside here. On chat command mine. So we want, when the block is grass, is what this says, replace with grass. Well, that does nothing. So let's click on this first, this top grass, and say air. Replace with air when the block um, that it detects is grass, okay? And let's do this. This is very simple. Let's say from 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, to negative 10 negative 10, negative 10. Now, what do these numbers mean? Let me tell you. Um, picture an X and Y coordinate, right? Like you have in math. Um, we have X and Y. This number here is X, the first number. This number here is Y. Okay, same with down here. Because um, we're saying from that way all the way back behind me. That's what 10 to negative 10 says. Um, and same with this one. From all the way to, the, you know, 10 blocks to my left to 10 blocks to my right. That's what these are. So what would this middle one be? Well, in 3D space, in 3D space, you don't just have a left, right, forward, and backwards. You have a up and down. And we call that Z. It's our Z coordinate. Okay, I wish I could draw right here. I know there's a way to, but I'm not going to figure it out. Our Z coordinate. And so this is ten, all the way from 10 blocks in, above us to 10 blocks below our feet. So that middle number right there is always the height. Don't ask me why they put them in that order, um, but they did. So this middle number here is always a heart, heart, height number, and you're going to want to remember that. Okay, so let's run this. 
um, I hit start and look on the left and it tells us what we press to open the chat window. Do you see what it is? It's T, so I hit the T key on my keyboard. It opens my chat window. And now what was our word, our keyword? It was mine. So I type in M-I-N-E, no capitals or anything like that. I think it might mess it up if you, if you do capitals when you're not supposed to. And I just hit enter or I can press this button here to run it. Mine, bam, there we go. And we can kind of see how big this square will eventually be um, if, we, if we continue to do this, okay? So that only took care of the grass though. The dirt wasn't taking care of it, only the blocks that actually have grass on top, right? And if we look at our code, that's really obvious. It's only when the block is a grass block this, this runs. So we're just gonna have to duplicate this block a few more times and put it in here too for regular dirt and for regular uh, sand and stuff, sand and gravel. So let's do that. If I right click on this block, here's duplicate right here. If you are on a Chromebook and you don't know how to right click, hold down the Alt key, A-L-T, it's right next to your space bar. You can see me typing it. Do you see that word, Alt? Hold down the Alt key and, and, and click and you'll find it here, duplicate. All right, but anyways, I've got my second one. Let's change this block right here to dirt. That's granite, that's dirt. You see where it is? Dirt, duplicate it again, put it down here, and let's make this one sand. Here's my regular old sand. Here we go. Now let's run this again. I hit start, I press T to open chat. And by the way, if you've typed something before in the chat, you can just hit the up arrow, the up key on your keyboard and it should come back, and it did. There we go, mine. Hit enter, bam. All right, so we're to, we got to plain old rocks after that, and I don't care about these plain old rocks. I want those to disappear too. So let's do it again. Right click on this guy, say duplicate, and we'll say make rocks disappear. Here it is, the third one over is called stone. That's what the one we want, stone. Sorry, that's my pit bull. All right, let's do it again. And this time the stone will disappear. T. And what's cool about this, hit enter, look what happened. That's what's cool about this, is now I can easily get at these. If I double click space and fly up to them, I can easily mine these and, 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 and have them to use for whatever. You can run this stuff, by the way, in survival mode, not just in creative mode. So this. This kind of thing is really useful for survival mode. But I can just keep doing that as many times as I want. Mine, mine, mine. It's all mine. All right. I'm going to let you guys discover what starts happening when you go down deep enough, though. Oh, this is gravel right here. We could have easily added gravel to our code. So maybe let's do that, too. All right. In fact, I'm going to let you guys do that. Duplicate this thing one more time and set it to also make gravel disappear. Okay. And just so you know, this saves automatically for you on your account. Um, or at least on the computer that you're sitting at. And you are going to be turning in a screenshot of this to me. So make sure you actually followed me along with this because you're going to be turning in a screenshot of your code so that I can see it. All right? Maybe we'll turn in the JavaScript. That's even easier. You'll just copy this JavaScript and you'll, you'll paste it into Canvas. All right? So just like before with Duplicate, we would select all this and we would right-click on it and say copy. Cool? All right. Anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Have fun with this, um, and maybe try playing around with other bits of code, too, while you're at it. What else could you do, right? Go into blocks, go into mobs, see what you can figure out. Cool. I mean, look look at these. Just looking at some of these tells you exactly what's going to happen. You can spawn an animal whenever you type something, or you can apply speed to a player whenever you type something. 